Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow finished down 128, Nasdaq off 82, S&P's off 15. Lots of numbers out here, folks. Lots of action out here. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We talk about action. We are riding that wave, folks. And don't forget, every trading day, Basil has an outstanding show here, right here at TFNN, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, the way you get the opening call, folks, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content. You hit the opening call. You can just hit subscribe. You can get Basil's newsletter for one month for $128. You can get it for six months for $595, which is a savings of $173. You can get it for a year for $995, which is a savings of $541. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Great newsletter, great program every trading day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, John. How are you? Doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Good. So, uh, what's the weather like up there? Oh, it's starting to get hot again. Okay. It was a cool, coolish day yesterday, but now it's getting hot again. But that's summer. I'm yeah. pleased with summer. Yeah, summer in the city. That's all right. That's all right. So, weather in the market. Let's take a look at it. I got your charts up here. Yeah, so on the left is the Dow daily with my notations. Yeah. In the middle is the weekly, and on the right is the monthly chart. And what is very interesting about this is that the little top that was made on the 16th of July at 27,398, because there was a little doji candle the day before, and my 120-minute chart was starting to show signs of uh, a little bit of uh, excessive wear on the upside for the uh, technicals, and that the uh, turnaround that I was anticipating in the MACD and the stochastic were very close. Uh, using a bunch of chem wave techniques, we, we did go short for this is a completely separate position because I didn't have any technicals in all the indices to say that this should be a very sharp immediate sell off. The way the 9 and 14 period moving averages were acting, it said to me this could be a slow process, take maybe six, maybe even seven or eight sessions before key support was held. We've already gone one, two, three, four. This is a seventh session since that high. And the Dow has basically traded sideways. But you can see the MACD started to uh, deteriorate. The stochastic is at 79%. It's getting a, a little weaker. So this is going to be very important two days. Now, for us, it's a, it's a kind of a tricky situation because we did go quite heavily long back on the day of the low of June the 3rd, and we've remained in that position, took a little bit of profits, and what I'd say, let's just treat this as a separate position. So now we're short seven points from the top in the Dow, but the reason why I wanted to keep it as a separate position is because I'm not sure yet that we could even get close to the June 3rd low unless a lot of very negative things happen. So I don't want to get out of a position that we got in so perfectly at the bottom so I'm treating this as one day at a time, and we haven't done too much in, the, in adding or anything like that to the short side. We still have long positions. So if the Dow starts to trade it in the next, it's today's Thursday, let's give it until Monday or Tuesday. If the Dow starts to close under 26,930, somewhere around that level, but close, it can't just go there, it has to close below, that'll say to me, okay, now we've started the consolidation, there's a good chance that the other indices might follow. And you can see that there's a lot of resistance just above, and the, the market has been working very hard to try to, to, to break out to the new highs. Now, the queues did go a little higher, but even then, there's quite a lot of resistance. So I'm just treating this as like a one step at a time. We still have long positions. They've done very nicely. Our Bank of America, where we, where we were long from the 24s area, hit 30. Um, what was today's high? Today is um, 30.89. It's in leg E in the Chapman wave. If I can just show this for a second, I wanted to show you the actual notation for those who are not used to it. Um, my work, I'll grab it right here. There it is. So just briefly, I want you to say, I, I like to look at the market as having three actions. One is up and down. That's one. The arch formation, that's two. And the cup formation. And then you can get a mixture when it's, I got it red here to show that if the left side low is taken out decisively, it can keep going down. 
and on the upside, we're going to see that in a moment. If the right side is taken out, and the, that, that's very positive if, if the technicals are confirming. And you can see when I, when I show the cup formation, we've taken out that left side high. So there's another cup formation that's positive. And there's something else just uh, while we're talking about it. Um, to show some of the techniques that I like to do with my subscribers to my, to the subscribers to my opening call, if I can just go here. This is Charles Schwab. And Charles Schwab, I showed um, subscribers that there's a beautiful cup formation forming. It made a low back in June uh, 25th at 3833, made an arch formation, retested it successfully for that H pattern, but a successful H pattern, and then started to rally. So we're long, and what I was looking at is, I call it a left side, right side price time match. So the high that was made at 44.15 back on the uh, 6th of June comes all the way down. And I couldn't use the very, the low, but I used a different bar to measure to the right side. And I drew it in with what I call a Chapman Wave inside track, uh, sorry, inside wedge. Uh, this is a target resistance line. This little green okay. line here. Yeah. And we just, we hit it exactly. Look at that. In leg right. D, this is what we look for. Right up against the 200 period exponential moving average. The MACD and stochastic are very strong. And the weekly is starting to improve. So I, I like to show subscribers the way that, so that they're working with me, we're going together, each waveform, we count the waves, we look at the patterns, we see if we're getting confirmation with the technicals. So it's like a work in progress as we're moving along, and it's a study piece. I sometimes I send out to subscribers a piece that I say, hey, this is just a study piece. That's how that works Yeah, out. that's pretty, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. this is mathematically very nice yeah. to see. Right. And what's, what's interesting is we were just looking at Amazon because it's uh, come out with earnings. So it made a peak D. There's your D. And from D at 2035.80, uh, 20, that was uh, back uh, a few days ago. Yeah, that was on the... Um, 12th, I think it's the 12th, 11th of July. It's gone sideways. So it's a stair step down, stair step down. It's going to be very important. Uh, I think the conference call is going to be very important, of course. But if it takes out 1951 support, it starts another level on the downside. This is going to be very important for Amazon. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, we, we after the close on uh, Amazon, uh, that's down 50 bucks. That's the only one that... Uh, I'm going down 73. I don't know whether mine's updated or yours is, but that's a lot. Yeah, it's a good number. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> uh, you know, the rest of these, though, guess what? Google is up uh, big. I mean, Google closed at... Uh, 11:30. It's trading at 12:15. Starbucks. Yeah, so it's it's up as much as uh, I've got Amazon down. So this kind of equals on. Starbucks it, actually broke out to the upside. Oh, big time! You know, Starbucks uh, closed at ninety dollars. That's trading at ninety six sixty three. And then and you get the alternate and, count leg D in, and, in Starbucks. And then you get Intel. Intel closed at fifty two. Uh, 16, you're trading 54.90. So inside the NDX 100, there's going to be some strength there. I mean, yes, you know, that's uh, Google's. A, Google's a big one, no doubt. Uh, Amazon's a big one too. One could offset the other there, but then you get Starbucks. Starbucks because in the NDX folks is a modified weighting index. Starbucks also has a large weighting structure, so that'll put some real juice uh, into it. In fact, if we, well, we have to tell right now, if we take a look at the three Qs, the Qs closed, oh, there you go, look at this. The Qs are up almost a dollar. They closed at 193.30, uh, it's trading 194 right now, 08, you know, so. So, so it's up from the low, yes. Uh, just right. up from the close. Oh, yeah, okay. From the close That's today, right. never mind that downdraft. Folks, the way you get Basil's newsletter, come over to our website at TFNN, go right under featured content, see the opening call, bang, you hit that supply. Basil, you have a great night, safe night, and we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.